Hello everyone. Have you ever heard about reaction time? If you never heard of reaction time, I would like to introduce you to our reaction time training projects. Basically, reaction time is the period of time between the point at which people need to observe something and the time they act on it. The central and peripheral nervous systems of humans need a certain amount of time to analyze a stimulus and produce the appropriate reaction. This is referred to as the processing time. It is an ability to recognize, process, and react to a stimulus. Have you ever questioned how athletes are able to perform such quick movements? Or how quickly a player can respond to circumstances that change in games instantaneously? This happened because their performance tends to rely on the reaction time. Reaction time requires an athlete to react to a stimuli such as the gun in a race or the opponent's movement in a basketball match. Thus, athletes use a reaction time training technique to enhance their competitive edge and to improve their performance in a sports game. Our reaction time training project could improve your brain through a fun and interactive challenges which enabling you to react more quickly and accurately. This program is made for anybody wishing to develop their cognitive abilities, whether they are an athlete trying to boost their performance, a gamer trying to get a competitive edge, or just someone who wants to improve their memory. Our project aims to provide individuals a design training program to improve the cognitive and reaction abilities. Other than that, we hope this project could enhance the competitive edge of individuals. Our project components consist the item as stated. First, Arduino Uno microcontroller is the brain of the project. It will control the LED, push button and the LCD display. Second, breadboard is a prototyping board that allows you to connect electronic components together without soldering. Third, jumper wires are used to connect the components on the breadboard. Fourth, push button is the input device that the user will press to start the reaction time test. Fifth, LED the output device that will light up to indicate the user need to press the button. Next, 200 ohm resistor is used to limit the current that flows through the LED. Lastly, LCD display is used to display the user's reaction time. Our total cost is 192 ringgit and 15 cents. Which consists of, wooden box, LED, 60 mm push button, potentiometer, resistors, jumper, LCD display and Arduino Uno set. The code provided is an Arduino program that implements a simple reaction game using an Arduino board and a 16x2 LCD display. In this project, we designed a reaction time test using Arduino Uno. The goal of the test was to measure the time it takes for a user to react to a stimulus and press a button. The test consisted of an LED that turned on randomly, and the user had to press a button as quickly as possible after seeing the LED light up. To implement the test, we used the following components language based on C or C++ to control the test. The script utilized the random function to generate a random delay before turning on the LED. Once the LED turned on, the program started a timer and waited for the user to press the button. When the button was pressed, the program recorded the reaction time and displayed it on the LCD. 
Overall, this project showcases the capabilities of Arduino Uno in creating interactive and engaging tests. By leveraging the versatility of the Arduino platform, we were able to design and implement a reliable reaction time test that opens up possibilities for further investigation and application in various domains. In conclusion, we successfully developed an Arduino Uno reaction time test that measured the time it took for participants to react to a stimulus and press a button. The project provided insights into individual differences in reaction times and the influence of practice on improving reaction time. The reaction time test can be used for various applications, such as assessing cognitive abilities, measuring motor response speed, or evaluating attentional processes. It can also serve as a valuable tool for research studies focusing on reaction times and related factors. However, it is important to note that reaction times can be influenced by several variables, including participant characteristics, environmental factors, and task complexity. Future iterations of this project could consider incorporating additional variables or implementing more sophisticated algorithms to further analyze and interpret the reaction time data.